Hey everybody, I'm at work in my at home office and um, I'm listening to Lev Farmer. Lev Farmer always got knowledge. He always got um, good knowledge, right? And so um, let me put him on mute for a minute. Wait a minute. Let me put it on mute. Um, so he's talking about, you know, protecting yourself and I wish I could tell I wish I could tell him the story, but he's in the middle of his uh, of his video and he got like a thousand people in there. It's hard for him to see the chat or whatever. But I wanted to come online and tell this story because years ago when I lived in my condo, which is now my rental property, and um I think I have been there a couple of months. And it was like a Sunday night, nine o'clock at night sitting in my living room watching TV doorbell ring so it's a window you know I'm in the living room, living room it's a window right here and the front door is like on the side I don't never I don't never open my door I was raised in Watts I was raised in Watts in the 80s I was born in 74 I was raised in Watts in Compton in the 80s big time for crack cocaine and drugs a, a, a downtime for our people so you know you know how to protect yourself. So I go to the window and I go, who is it? The guy has a clipboard in his hand, a raggedy car, and he has on a zip up hoodie. And like I said, the window's right here. He was not facing the window, he was turned around. He said, yeah, can I have your name? I have a delivery. I said, you don't need to know my name. I didn't order nothing. And I knew not to order things at the condo because it just sit there in the city of San Bernardino. People come jack your stuff. I needed something. I'll go to the store and go get it. And he said, well, I wanted to know such and such. I said, you don't need to know what's going on in this house. I said, you need to know you're not delivering nothing to this house tonight. Well, can I have your name to show them I'm using delivery? I said, you don't need to know my name. Well, I need to know for this. I said, what you need to know is that my best friend, Smith & Wesson, is sitting right here. I said, so you need to make your way on out away from this front door. You only got like a minute. That man took off so fast. But let me tell you, don't put in no bluffs. Protect yourself. He was just saying right now that... If a family was in need and came to your front door, you're going to answer it. He said, no, you're going to go to your back door to see if the marauder's going to come in. And he is 100% right. This is why I watch a lead farmer. Let me see. My, my tape, my desk is kind of dirty, but I'm finna. Let me show you. Lead farmer right there. This is why I watch a lead farmer because he, his knowledge... You know, and I think he's in, him and his wife are in my age bracket. When you've gone through stuff growing up as a latchkey kids, as Gen Xers, we went through a lot of stuff on our own while our parents was working, trying to protect us. You better learn how to protect yourself. But I'll never forget that day when that man came to my door. And I'll tell you what else happened. A couple of days later, I was coming home from somewhere. It was night. I might have been coming home from work. And I see a CSI truck on my street. In fact, it was 2005. I moved in that condo like February 2005. It was the end of the year because it was during Christmas time. CSI truck down the street from my condo. I said, why is a CSI truck? Crime scene investigation. Coming to find out, it was within that same week this man came to my door. This man had been following this woman who was a bus driver following her she had been telling the police i'm being stalked i'm being stalked this man came in and murdered her and her mom murdered her and just a couple of days before somebody was knocking at my door talking about what's your name you don't need to know no you don't need to know nothing that's going on in this house what you need to know like ice cube friend said in one of his rap songs is that the new best friend is the Smith & Wesson. Don't don't play around with your life. Pr protect your life. I have family members I won't let in my home. I won't let step foot on my property. Another time I was in my backyard 
gardening and this salesperson comes on to my property and I'm doing stuff. He's like, hey, can I talk to you? I said, who said you could just step on my property and start talking to me like that? Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I was like, get off my bushes, get off my yard. And he was a salesperson. Oh, I apologize. The disrespect that people have nowadays is outrageous. I would never knock on somebody's front door and I see them in the backyard and just, I'm just going to sell to you because I feel like you don't ever do that. That man could have lost his life. My family is is um, known from carrying a gat or two. Put it that, put it to you that way. Even when I was younger and I used to go party, my, my mom be like, you better announce yourself. It's me, mom. You don't want to lose your life. So I'm listening to Led. I love my brother Led. I love my brother Led, Farmer 73 and Lady Led. I love them because they speak a lot of facts. They speak a lot of facts. And he don't need the viewership. He don't need the subscribers. But I tell everybody to subscribe to him. I just had to come online and tell that story. Because if I had not had the street smarts, I would open that door. And years ago when I was still living in that condo, my niece and nephew were there. And somebody rang the doorbell. My nephew ran to the door. And me and my brother must have snatched him up. He said, what did I do wrong? He said, you don't never, ever, ever open that door. Never. See, they raised in another state. Their mother is not the same culture, color as us. So things are a little bit more freer. You see, they they don't look like me. They don't have the dark skin tone like me. So things are a little bit more freer. My, me and my brother snatched him. My brother snatched him. My brother is a big man. Used to work in co correctional facilities and has been licensed to carry guns for about 30 years now. He don't play. He don't play when it comes to his family. All I have is brothers, and I thank God I, all I have is brothers, and I'm the oldest, and I taught them some of their hood stuff. You understand? That little boy, we said, don't you ever open. Snatched, snatched him so quick. Okay, he was like, "Don't you ever open that door." My brother taught him a lesson that day. He said, "He said when you went home with your mama, he said I better not ever hear you guys just answering that door like that." So, be wise. Listen to Lead Farmer, and um, the name of his live today is "Where Did We Go Wrong?" Question mark. Let's try that again. Exclamation point. So. I'm going to finish listening to his live while I'm sitting here working, but I just want to give you guys that because it, he's he's right on what he was saying. And if I had not had common sense, I, I, I could have lost my life if I would have opened that door. That man standing there, you're going to come to my door with a hoodie on, with the hood up, with a clipboard, with your back turned so I can't see you and say, I need to know. I said, what you need to know is you finna, you, you about to lose your life. That man got away quick. My name is Precious. I may look very precious, but don't, 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 um, <laughs> don't take me lightly. Don't take me lightly. All right. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Bye.